Good morning, people of God. This is Prophet West. I'm coming to you again on this morning to, to encourage you, to give you a word, encouraging thought, something that could help you on this morning that can carry you uh, throughout the day, something that, that, that will uh, give you strength, something that will give you understanding, uh, something that will give you enlightenment in this day and in this time that, that you are, we are living in, in, in perilous times that we are. Uh, and also, I will pray. I will uh, say a word of prayer as well. Uh, first of all, there are two words that I want to use today briefly before we go into prayer. And the purpose of these words is to, to let you know who you are and whose you are and where you come from. And a lot of times people, they accept anything because they don't know who they are. They allow people to talk to them any kind of way because they don't know who they are in the kingdom as a person, as being in, created in God's image and as likeness. Uh, oftentimes uh, we beat ourselves up. We allow our mind to, to run up the top and down the, the back of us with, with negative thoughts and, and things that bring destruction, things that, that are negative, things that are hurtful to our own self oftentimes. And, and so my purpose is to just enlighten you and to let you see um, see things not from your own eyes but through the eyes of the word and the two words that I'm going to use today and that I'm going to uh, teach from today with a brief inspirational thought is to subdue and to have dominion to subdue and to have dominion now listen to this in Genesis 1 and 28. Now there's just one verse. It says that God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. But I want to focus on when he said, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. He said to subdue and subdue and to have dominion. It, as an example, uh, subdue actually means to force, to keep down. Dominion means to rule, uh, to keep under. As an example, to explain both of those, uh, it's, let me give you an example of a wrestler, MMA. You can use MMA wrestler. And in and, and a wrestling match, in this wrestling match, the purpose is to to get the person pinned down to the ground, wherein even they, they get into a place where they become submissive and they give up, where they, they don't have no more strength in them. They, they can't do them because if they try to do too much when they're in a certain position where the arms are locked, then you could break the arm. You could really hurt them and, and cause uh, great damage to them. Oftentimes in a, in a wrestling match, when that person is able to use their quickness and their ability and their skills to subdue that person. In other words, to force that person down to the to the canvas. And then once they become down to the canvas, you keep them down there. Every time they try to get up, also when you when you give that little lock lock the lock the arm up in a certain move, and while they're down down on the ground, uh, you you can have dominion and you and you rule over it. And by tweaking the arm a little bit, every time they try to get up. And let them know, and they submit, and they go back down. That's the example of subdue and to have dominion. See, God in the beginning, God had given man and woman this command, us as 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 uh, creating His image and His likeness, to subdue. That means to overcome. That means to anything that's trying to rise up against us as 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 men, as people of God. It is our job to push, force it down and keep it down. See, the things you must understand, it not just, the, it, this doesn't, the Bible says that over the fowls of the air and, and the earth, that means that everything that was created, that God had created uh, in this earth as people, as men and women of the cross, it's up on our feet and we have dominion over it. And the Bible says that even when you have uh, bad thoughts that come to you, uh, things that come to uh, situations in your life that in conditions where there's sickness or 
there's uh, relationship problems where there's anger issues um, uh, any on your job your, 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 your financial problems uh, situations whatever it is God has given us the authority to have dominion of it and to subdue it and, and, and the Bible says that even Jesus the, the Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee the reason he will flee is because God has given us the authority to ignore him. He's given us the authority to subdue him. He's given us the authority to have dominion over him. The Bible also says that uh, over the, all the fowls of the air. Also, the, the Satan, he's a foul. He's, he has a foul spirit. He has a foul mind. He has foul ways. And he, he, he's, he's roaming in the air. He's roaming. He's also called the Prince of Persia. He's called the accuser of the brother. He's always floating. He's always speaking like that little bird. It's like communication uh, through uh, through the telephone, through video, through through our phones. When you uh, dial a button, when you push a per person's key, their number automatically that those those waves, those sounds waves, those communication waves are going to go through the air and connect with that other person. And oftentimes what the adversary does, even concerning our blessings and concerning what God has for us, even in this earth, uh, when when the connection, he'll try to break, block that connection from us finding uh, or, or us reaching and grabbing what is entitled for us, to us. He'll block it. He'll try to block it in any kind of way he can uh, by way of by way of perversion, by way of deception. Uh, uh, by way of, of anything negative to block it, blindness, whatever avenue he, he has, he'll use it to block us from receiving it. But the Bible has given us the authority and the ability to subdue and to overcome it. And one of the ways to subdue is by our mouth. There's another verse in, in the scripture where it says that after God had created um, um, all the fowls of the air and after he had created Adam, the Bible says that after he had created all the fowls of the air and the creatures in, in the sea, then God led them and brought them to Adam to see what he would call it. This is where we are in life. God, there are things that are going to come in your life, but God wants to see how you're going to respond, how you're going to deal with it. Because in you dealing with it, a certain way will determine how God will bless you. It will determine the fulfillment of you receiving a blessing or you receiving a curse. See, the Bible also says that we have to be careful with our mouth because our mouth is a unruly evil. And there's life and death in the power of our mouth, in our tongue. And so it's very important when we see something to identify it and speak it as out of our authority that God has given us that it might come under our feet. Relationship problems, pain, sicknesses, any type of thing that's in this earth, God has given us the ability and he has given us the power to subdue it, to overcome it, uh, to keep it down. Not just to, not just to uh, overcome, but to keep it down. The Bible also says that even that the serpent, uh, we, uh, uh, his head will, will be bruised with our heel. That means to keep him down. Every time the adversary, the enemy, would try to come up and speak negative things to you, to come up come up to your level. See, number one, he's not at your level. And because he's not at your level, it's your job to keep him down there, not for you to go down there, but to keep him under your feet. One of the problems that many people do, believers do, is that they don't know who they are, and they don't understand oftentimes whether the devil belong. And those people that act, like the devil, those the children of darkness, those people that in your life that that tries to always keep up trouble, and those people who always, who always try to bring all kind of diffusion, uh, confusion, and division in your life. You must keep all those things under your feet, because God lets us know that our mind should be set on those things that are above, and to renew our mind with the word, to wash our mind with the word, to renew, be renewed with the word, and, and so it's very important to keep our mind in a certain way because uh, in order to grow we must uh, be, become challenged in growth there's challenge 
Also, uh, in challenge, well, now, when, when also when we're going to a new dimension, when God is calling us to, to go to a, a new dimension, there's going to always be challenges and things that we've never seen before. There's going to be certain things that, that's bigger than our natural eye, but it's not bigger than our spirit. And so, and for this reason, when we fight these things, there's going to be combat, combative, there's going to be fights, there's going to be uh, disappointments, there's going to be setbacks. But the thing that you must know in this thing, you must always keep your eyes on the atmosphere. You must keep your eyes on the, the, the thing that you're fighting against because it's, 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 it's given to us to see it and to speak against it and to put it on our feet. The Bible says that uh, the Creole thing and God would hasten to perform it. And see, because God has given the, us the, 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 the dominion and the authority for everything that's under this earth, but oftentimes God is waiting to see what we're going to do. He's waiting to see to see what we're going to say. And once we talk accordingly and once we see 